have today is the small rig cage for the Sony A9 III. I needed one of these really badly because it has a nice Arca Swiss plate adapter thing. Well, it's like built in, not really an adapter at the bottom. So I can do quick release for my gimbal and my tripods and other stuff. Also, because this is a $6,000 camera, so I definitely wanted to have protection for it so it doesn't get scratched up and messed up. Because when you put a lot of money to invest in certain types of gear, really you should uh, spend the extra $100. Because yes, this cage actually costed $100. And if you go on BNH's website, it's actually sold out. However, on Amazon, there was two left. So I bought one a couple days ago, and I just got it in the mail today. And there's still one left in stock. So hopefully somebody snags that and enjoys it because it's definitely a necessity for you spending that much money on a camera for this caliber. I mean, even my cheapest camera, my a7 III, I have a cage for it. And you'll see later on in this video that I actually have a cage for my, well, it's kind of hybrid. So I got it for the a7 IV, but it also works with the a7 R5. So it's really cool. But I have yet to put it on the A7R5 at all. It's only been on the A7 IV since I got it. But yeah, this thing has amazing build quality. What's cool is the color. It's more of like a titanium. And it's cool how the fake leather matches the actual camera. So it's very similar to the A7IV cage. And this battery door is required to have enough space to actually open up the battery door freely. Memory card slot's fine. It opens up the way it should. And all the other ports open up. I like the locking mechanism for the HDMI. That way it'll keep it nice and snug and not like messing up your ports. Because if they keep moving around your ports, it can mess up your HDMI port. But yeah, it's very rugged. It's very on par with the other cages. Small rig's always great for their build quality. Even the slanted cold shoe mount on the left that you see, it's similar so this is just comparing both cages. The cage I got for the A7R5 slash A7 IV, and then as you see here with the A9 III. Better lighting as well. I just wanted it to really represent and showcase the actual true to life color design of the cameras, as well as the cages, what to expect if you were to purchase one or both of these cages. They're not compatible with the other camera. So keep that in mind. Don't think you can just buy this one right here because it's in stock and it's a bit cheaper. I mean, you got to do what you got to do, but it definitely doesn't work because a 93s design is different than the predecessors. So this is just comparing both. I also could have grabbed my a7 III one, but that's camera so out of date. Still a great camera. I love it. Could definitely get away with using it. I used it for years. But I don't know. Maybe if, if you guys want me to do a video on the A7 III cage, which by the way, that cage actually was designed for battery grip. So it's a, it's a bigger cage. But honestly, it's not that great. Even though it is small rig. But yeah, you can see the color differences. The little locking thing I have around somewhere, but it's not in the A. 7.4's cage. Didn't lose it, I just didn't put it back. So yeah, that basically sums up the new A9 III cage. Like I said, they're sold out everywhere. I'm sure Small Rig is working on more. But yeah, also excuse my foot in the video sometimes. Whatever. I'm sitting on the floor doing this. And yeah, I think that this cage is the best as far as the way it feels in the hand. But the A7IV's cage is like neck and neck, basically. They both feel really comfortable. But as always, guys, may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. Stay safe out there. Enjoy the rest of your day, and see you in the next unboxing. Peace.